Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be talking about the Java java.util.stack class. The Java util stack class represent a last in first out philo or lifo stack of objects. Lesson. I will demonstrate to you how to use the Java util stack class to create a stack object and then use the member function is empty push and pop. Member functions as follow is empty which checks to see if a stack is empty push allows you to push into the stack pop pops the value from the stack okay so let's go into eclipse and demonstrate to you how we can use the java util stack class okay so let's begin by right click new java project and let's name this project name as JStack. Click on Finish. Okay, under SRC or Source Folder, right click, New Class. And let's call this Demo as our package. And then JStack is the name of the class then uh, click to make sure that we have public stack void main gets created and click on finish okay so first thing we need to create a couple variable I'm gonna create private static stack st okay and in my constructor, which is JStack, I'm gonna initialize, oh, I'm sorry, instantiate the stack. So st equal to new st, okay? Now, right now, it doesn't recognize the stack, so we need to do import Java utility, okay? Then let's create the proper function. So what we need to do is create public boolean is empty. So this function will check to see if the stack is empty or not. So if we say if st is empty, return true. Otherwise, return false. Okay then we can create another function called push. So push allow us to push the data into the stack. So in this case, I wanna create, um, I wanna push string into the stack. So string, okay. So this would do st.push string, okay. Then we have another function uh, what we call pop so pop will return back the string so public uh, string pop and it's gonna return well we need to check to make sure that the stack is not empty so we do if um, st if not st is empty then we can do return string st pop okay otherwise return no okay so that completes the um, uh, three functions that we just created now in our main routine we're gonna say j stack js equal to new j stack and then we say js push let's say hello okay and then j push world 
and then we do a loop. Okay, so once we push the data to the stack, we want to pop it, right? So we can use a while loop while not js uh, is empty then we say system out dot print line and we say value plus js pop okay so that completes our uh, function okay to push data out of the stack so um, let's save this and compile the code okay and let's go to our terminal cd to chase stack cd to bin and cd to um, actually here we can do uh, java the cp which is our class name dot demo dot j stack okay and then you can see that uh, we push in hello world and what we pop out is world hello which is basically uh, last in first out so the last guy in was world and the first guy in was hello so this is correct this is what we expecting from the uh, the uh, the Java stack class okay so uh, this is the end of the tutorial for um, the uh, Java stack uh, and uh, I hope that you enjoy this video uh, please subscribe to my channel if you like this video thank you for watching